So you say that you want to go to the gym or you say you want to start a new diet or maybe you just want to get started on your work project. जो भी हो आपने decide कर लिया कि ये काम करना है but for some reason आप वो काम शुरू नहीं कर रहे हो Something is stopping you from getting down to that work. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Sadat Warrior and today we will be talking about procrastination. What is happening in your brain when you procrastinate and what can you do to stop procrastinating? If you're new to the channel and you like learning about your brain, subscribe and be a part of this community. So, why do you procrastinate? When your brain decides to do some action, it has to give valuable resources in order to do it. So, while intention can be easy, action is expensive. This is the intention action gap. which means there is a gap between what you say you want to do versus what you actually do and somewhere between the intention and action lies procrastination something that stops you from converting intention to action today we are going to understand what is that what are the resources that your brain has to put in to get something done it has to give attention it has to give physical energy it has to give time and it also has to give some material resources like money or other material things that it has gathered and all these things are precious resources your brain doesn't want to just give away so how does the brain decide what action should be done and what action can be pushed for later or in other words procrastinated in order to answer this question our brain follows an equation which i am going to call as the procrastination equation All of us need to understand this equation because this is how our brain decides किस action में ध्यान देना है और कौन से action को हम ignore कर सकते हैं What is the procrastination equation? The equation says that the action that your brain does is determined by four things. So action is equal to expectation of outcome into value of outcome divided by timing of outcome into tolerance to delay. Now these are complicated words so I'm going to break down each of these things one by one what does expectation of outcome mean when you say you want to do something in your brain there is an expectation ki ye action se kya outcome milega what will you get when you do this so when you open a chocolate and eat it your brain is expecting a sugar rush so the stronger your expectation the more likely it is that you will do that action the second variable is value of outcome how much do you value whatever it is you will get from that action so if you are eating chocolate and you really value that taste or you value that sugar rush it is more likely that you will do that action the third variable is timing the longer the delay between action and outcome the less likely it is that you will do it The reason for this is that your limbic system which is the primitive part of the brain cannot think too far ahead into the future. It doesn't know how to plan 5 years later, 10 years later. It is more concerned with what is happening immediately in your environment. Aaj kya hoga? Abhi kya hoga? That is all that the limbic system cares about. So if you say that you invest in mutual funds now and you'll get returns 10 years later versus I'll give you 10,000 rupees right now, your limbic system will always choose the 10,000 rupees because who knows what will happen 10 years later so longer is the delay the less likely the action and the final fourth variable is tolerance to delay how okay are you that the outcome gets delayed agar bahut farak nahi padta hai so the action is less likely agar bahut farak padta hai then the action is more likely so this is the equation that decides how likely it is that you will do something and once you understand this it is easier to understand procrastination because you will only procrastinate doing things where the urgency of the action is not much now let's take a practical example you are a student and you're studying for exams now you say that giving an exam is important to you but is it really that important to your brain let's break it down using this equation what is the expectation of outcome the action is that you want to study you expect that studying will give you good marks is it valuable to you yes what is the timing of that outcome you will study today and the results will come 3 months later and how okay are you if you don't really get good marks you say that you are not really okay with it now the other option is you could watch netflix the expectation of outcome is that you will feel good do you value feeling good yes what is the timing of that outcome right now and are you okay with not feeling good right now no This equation tells your brain that watching Netflix right now is more valuable than studying for an exam where the results are 3 months later. 
Now the problem is that this entire equation is being calculated by your subconscious mind. This is not being done at a conscious prefrontal cortex level. This is happening at the limbic system level and you are experiencing the end result of that calculation. So the way we change procrastination is by becoming aware of this equation. Do this calculation mindfully. Ask yourself honestly, what do you expect? How much do you value that expectation? Is it okay that there is a delay and are you okay with not getting that result? The more honest you are with yourself, the less likely it is that you will procrastinate doing that action. I hope this video helps you. My suggestion would be to start trying out this equation for something simple like maybe going for a walk every evening and then gradually building it up to more and more important things. Let me know how it goes. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Here are a few more videos that I have made on time management. I hope you enjoy them and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Cheers.